experience! Excitement? Distress beacon! Oh uh, yeah, baby! You're excited about that? I'm confused as to how, at this point, Morty is surprised by anything that Rick says or does. The first rule of space travel, kids, is always check out distress beacons. Oof. Rick is using an outdated space travel rule book. The most important rule of space travel is to wear your seatbelt. Seems like something terrible happened here. Really? Where'd you get that idea, Summer? Was it the ship in disarray? No signs of life? Or maybe the f***ing distress beacon that brought you here? Summer makes worse observations than Forrest Whitaker and Species. Oh yeah, if you find a room full of eggs, don't shy away from it. Give one of them a shake. So does this mean that xenomorphs exist in this universe? Which would also mean the regular space exploration is something that exists on Earth, and Rick shouldn't be getting away with as much as he does. Also, does no one find it weird that when they watch Ghostbusters or Gorillas in the Mist that the lead actress looks straight up like Ellen Ripley? Oh hey, you're alive! Thank God! False optimism. Then how do you know it didn't get on the ship with you? Those two ding-dongs seem pretty calm about the whole thing. Which poses the question, why did they wait till now to attack the rest of the crew? Even if Unity was hoping someone would show up from the distress signal they could also take over, that still doesn't explain why these two didn't attack after the beacon was transmitted. <laughs> why Screech and make the attack incredibly obvious? There's gotta be a better way for a brilliant entity to expertly and covertly convert everyone into, well, everyone. Whenever grows here must love to be saturated in water, but only in one tiny place on the whole lawn. I'm trying to find our weed whacker. Jerry's dumb. You know that. I know that. But I can't help but say that he's looking for a long lawn tool on a shelf where no one would ever store a weed whacker. Your father put a hatch in my garage. Which means now you have even more storage space under the garage and probably added ten to twenty thousand dollars to the value of the house. Jerry never sees the glass half full. He's toe up from the flow up. This is season two, and they still haven't managed to move this plug down here to one of the obvious three open ports? I hate you all. World peace achieved. Nice. A little weird to publish a paper about it for yourself. I think at this point we can agree that Rick would be the employee of the month that TV sends. When we met, I was a young hive mind. People who talk to you while walking away. I suppose a peaceful utopia that needs a police force for something? Mount rushmore this quickly. Show really puts the rush into Rushmore, huh? Well, this explains the $6,000 electric bill. Wait, what was the previous explanation? That sounds far more exciting than this Jerry Beth bickering bee story. Wake up, people! You have to fight it! You're under the spell of an evil monster! I can hear you every four years in the United States of America. Wake up! You have to have some individuality left in there! Pep talks around the writing table during CinemaSin staff meetings. This woman was a drug addict on the verge of suicide. Now she's a marine biologist. Which isn't impressive when you consider that everyone on the planet is also a marine biologist, thanks to the hive mind. I have transformed life here into a paradise. Prostitutes are now scientists. Insinuating that sex workers cannot also be scientists in a perfect world. <laughs> Are they all the same organism? Is the mind telling them to puke? Unity can read their minds, improve them with education, link everyone together, and relieve her drug binge through individuals? How does this even work? I can let go. Can you also teleport people? Because in exactly four seconds, the city is destroyed and all the people are somehow way over here. Hey, right here, we're fine. Rick can hear this from far away, inside a building, and with loud techno music playing. And I'll be damned if that ripple nipple bitch's race is superior! Those are some very impressive conical nipples attached to that asshole. Nipples that were clearly not present beneath that shirt just a moment ago. Hey! These two freaks have no race! Speaking of freaks, what's going on with this crowd of totally still people back here? Are they unity controlled, just standing by, all hands on hips angry looking? Are they rioters, frozen in terror? Or is this lazy animation? You wanna go upstairs and cut carrots and watch a Lifetime original above a f Alien Dungeon! Surprisingly, Mommy May I Please Have an Alien Dungeon proved to be a very uplifting piece of filmmaking, especially for a Lifetime movie. I once saw him briefly forget the word for humans. This sets up a joke later in the episode, but it's really not that big of a deal to forget a word every now and again. Our minds calculate thousands of decisions a day, so what if we forget a word? Like right now, I'm having trouble remembering the word for that thing that's like soft, but then it gets hard. You know, you put it in holes and cracks. Ugh. It's really good in places that are wet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cock. You and Unity are like, like, leggings and mid-calf boots. You think you're great together, but you're just bringing out the worst in each other. That's fashionist. If Blim Blam could rip the chains off this whole time, then why was he still locked up? I'd laugh, but I'm biologically incapable. But somehow capable of communicating clear words and dynamically expressive versions of <laughs> Just not able to ha-ha. Is there a slow setting? Best door ever. Sarcastic aliens not named Alf. Unity community. Rick, forgive me for doing this in notes. Breaking up with someone through a letter. Also, reading. 
No more alien prisoners. But aliens suspended in some sort of liquid chamber are okay? Is anyone going to address these? Lay it, lay it down. Let me see your hand. Emotionally Relevant Song sincerely plays at the end of a Rick and Morty episode while also making fun of emotionally relevant songs that play at the end of TV shows. Cliché. She touched my peppy, Steve. <laughs> What is that? That's what we're gonna find out. Balloon Summer? Balloon Morty? I don't like chicken, and I hate clowns! Oh yeah! No! Kelly Clarkson! We are the Borg. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. 